Hi friends, so you've already seen in the last video that when you get your MT course, you will populate it with a presentation for each session as well as quizzes and course and quiz too. I'm only going to talk about the presentation and what and how you will deliver during your live class. A few tips are that when it's called instructional design, how are you designing the delivery of these concepts? So either you can, you know, there are many options and you have to select what suits best to the concept. But for geometry or for algebra, for arithmetic, there are different things. You might doodle a lot and write a lot. If you're doing a lot of arithmetic, you might show a lot of images or videos if you're doing geometry. If it's algebra, you might draw balancing scales and, you know, show how you're moving about manipulating the two sides of the equation. Or you can use uh, simulations, fed simulations and demonstrations and, you know, these kind of things that are available. Digital resources. You can use videos, images as examples. Of course, we need to use Creative Commons videos. If you have doubts about that, uh, there are links below. So you can check it out on the internet also. We'll, of course, guide you on that too. So how you will deliver that concept, whether you doodle, whether you also, you might select a story. Uh, you know, you can just start, you know, depending, of course, on, you know, the age group and the concept. But th these are options and we have used all of them, whether it's a story or a scenario-based uh, brainstorming. You know, all of these, they engage the child. It's not okay. This is the concept. This is the definition. This is how it goes. This is what we need to do. And that's it. Let's do that. No, that's very um, traditional. It, it's not very effective. You have to work hard on, you know, delivering this to the child. And what's important is to understand how the children think. You have to give examples that are connected to the daily life and, you know, day-to-day -day life and surroundings of the children. What's your demographic? What's the age group? What kind of things the children are engaged in. To, to understand the child better is important. Some part of the session you might have a five minute discussion informally to know the children. You know, this helps you to be able to teach better. So your instructional design uh, among all of these options that I've just mentioned, it's up to you. But ensure that uh, you, if you're clear with the objective, you'll also think better to be able to, you know, Deliver that in a more uh, meaningful way, in a unique way, in a more innovative way. And that's what this entire teaching is all about. So I wish you all the best with regarding making the best choices for your instructional design.